The Cave, another game well named. How does this one look? Well, it sort of does look like a cave, but this cave will bring castles, princesses, drink machines, ropes, waterfalls, bats, cardboard cutouts of girls. This isn't just some ordinary cave. This cave is the shit. Well, on the graphic side, it looks beautiful. And as you can already tell, it's a side scroller, up and down scroller. Water and lighting are top notch, but that's about all this game brings graphically. Let's move on to the story. The Hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire burn too bright? Moving along. Ah, the time traveler. She I guess we're done. The scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for... Well, impatient, aren't we? Well, your story will depend on which three characters you choose, and to be honest, there must be a shitload of combinations. Let me do the math. You have three people and seven to choose from. So that means multiply three by seven, then square root that number by three, uh, add four, then times it by another seven, add another four for good measure. Ah, fuck this. I never said I was good at math, but there are a few different combinations. Must have been a nightmare to design this game around. Anyways, this game has specific stories for each of the characters but it's more of a funny puzzle game more than anything else. This leads me to gameplay. Character controls don't feel polished on this one. Using the Xbox controller feels kind of clunky. So much in fact, I'm gonna start using my PS3 controller with motion joy for these kinds of games. Analog sticks just don't feel right. Anyways, here's the basics. Grab this to fit in that, switch to this character as the others do something somewhere else and bam, puzzle solved. It works and it's kind of rewarding. Each character does have their own abilities. The knight can go invincible. The hillbilly can hold his breath. And these two children can, um, I'm not really sure what the fuck that's for. Anyways, let's move on to sound. Sounds like someone forgot to close the gate to the dragon's den. I'm sure the princess will be fine. She's way up in the tower. I don't think dragons can fly. She'll be fine. Sounds like that dragon is gone. Probably a million miles seconds away from getting the princess's amulet. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> the suspense was killing someone. It just wasn't me. Worst first date ever. Yeah, looks like the knight is out of luck. He's never going to get her amulet now. I stand corrected. Looks like it's a win-win. Well, not for the princess, but win-win for the knight and the dragon. When our brave heroes get back to the king, my advice would be to skip over this part. There's not really a whole lot to say about the sound. There is some, which is a good thing. The narrator is reading off some pretty witty script, and the storylines are great. Nothing supreme, nothing outstanding. Sound does exist in the game, in other words. But does the game give you a fizzy sensation beyond your penis as you play? Yeah, the game is kind of fun, but it's moody. It's like the kind of game you play while you wait for something. Don't really matter what, but I need to give an example here. Say you just need to unwind, and nothing will be better than a bowl of goat testicles. So you put a pot of water on the stove, toss them delicious testicles in, add some spice and sit back and wait for them to boil. But wait! You can pass the time with this game. The cave is the game distinctive. No, not really. I've played a lot of games similar to this, but this does have a mechanic of using three characters of your choice. But overall, there are a shitload of other games out there like this, including the Trine games. 
Well, that's all there really is to say about the game, guys. Thanks for watching, and remember to sub, share, and all the other good stuff to help me get this channel back up to the 1,500 subs I had before. This is DTR. Communicate later, chumps. Arr.